If you checked out my last video, you'll saw that I changed out the mechanical fuel pump on my 1979 Toyota Corolla. The thought process going there was that the previous owner said that they thought there wasn't getting fuel from that mechanical fuel pump to the carburetor. Well, in the video, I did some testing and stuff, and one of the things that I failed to notice was that when I tested the old mechanical fuel pump with that clear bottle and pumped some fuel in there, well, the fuel was orange. After trying to start it a couple days later and it still didn't work, I decided to check and see what color is bad fuel. Well, guess what? It's orange, and that was the color I had there. I went ahead and drained the tank, and I got some new fresh gas in there. Unplugged the coil, did the whole same test with the clear bottle. We definitely had fuel going into it. Set everything up, and of course, it didn't um, want to start. So I tried the fuel inside the carburetor. I tried the starter fluid, and the same thing. It'll run for 15 seconds, and it doesn't run. So that leads me to believe now that the carburetor itself is gunked up and needs to be rebuilt. This car has been six years sitting there, so I went ahead and I went on O'Reilly's. Again, I'm not sponsored anything by them. It's just they happen to carry this stuff, and I was surprised they had it. And I got this Walker Products Fuel System Repair Kit. We're going to take the carburetor off today and try and go through it. I've got my handy little book here. Just going to take it apart and or see how to do it. First thing we're going to do is try and figure out how to get this air filter off so we can have access to the carburetor. Now, how is this thing attached? these vacuum hoses. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a sharpie and I'm going to mark all the vacuum lines with numbers and then take pictures and hopefully that'll save me some trouble figuring this out afterwards. So let's try that. I've got a one, two, three. So now I'm going to take a picture of one, two, and three. Now I know what I did. Okay, so I've got everything off now. Disconnected every vacuum line I can see, but I think I've got everything now. So there's just four more bolts left to undo. So I'm not even gonna pretend to explain like I know how these things work. I, I don't. Like I said, I've got my manual here. The reality is we're gonna take some of these gaskets. I think it's mostly probably the jets are plugged just from the old fuel. So I'm just kind of take it apart, clean up the residue. Hopefully that's all there is and get this thing back together. All I know is that I'm gonna Go ahead and follow the instructions here the best that I can and start taking things apart and cleaning it and then hope I get it back together right. Like I said, I like to take pictures of everything. I can see where everything goes back together if for some reason I screw something up. All right. Okay, here goes nothing. All right, so I'm reading here, and um, interesting part here, it says the carburetor should not be dismantled unnecessarily. In fact, removal of the air horn in order to clean out the float chamber is usually sufficient, and this can be done without removing the unit from the manifold. Too late, I already did that. But it looks like I can just take these main parts off right here, get this out so I can get to the float, check that and make sure it's clean. And um, I think the jets are right down in here as well, and I should be able to access those once I get this off. So we're going to give that a shot and see how that goes. All right, we got the top of that carburetor off. Looks a little gunky in there, and I'm going to just go ahead and clean it out, see if the jets look clean. I'll be taking these things off here so we can clean this thing up.
So to gain access to the jets, we need to take that one and that one off. One of the things we're going to do is spray some carb cleaner into the jet. There you go, you can tell it's clear. So we know that's clean for sure. So we got it all back together. Um, I'm not going to go through the rebuild process. There's a couple great videos. I'll link them in the description below. They'll be a lot more descriptive and a lot better to follow. Good news is found a couple sticky things in there. I'm not sure that's going to be the problem, but I did clean out the jets. I uh, cleaned out this little plunger thingy, kind of cleaned everything around inside there, made sure everything was moving around. There was one stuck part for sure. I don't think that causes it, but we'll give it a shot. But anyways, time to put it back in. Considering these things were hand tight before, I'm not going to crank them down. Just make sure they're nice and snug. All right, now we're going to use our pictures and get all the vacuum hoses on and try and get this back together. Okay, that's it. So we got it in there. Everything's reconnected. Okay, maybe not quite, but everything's almost in there. Gotta do one more thing and then we're gonna give it a startup. I'm gonna open the garage. We're gonna try and fire this thing up and see if it works. go. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna have to take it to someone professional. Oh well, we gave it a shot. Try to do it on our own. We'll uh, follow up next time. Thanks for uh, watching. All right, update. I took a day of wondering. I was like, man, what is going on? There's got to be something going on with this thing. So I took it apart again, took the carburetor out, and noticed that the bowl where the float goes was completely dry. And there's only one intake coming into that. So I figured out that the the little needle or whatever they call it, the tip was broken and it actually was plugging the hole. Never even noticed it before. So luckily with my Riley's kit that I had, it came with one. It was a little bit different, but everything measured out exactly the same. Popped it in there, put everything back together and fired right up. So we finally have a car running. Let me get a quick start here and I'll take a video for you guys. right up so good to go now to move on to the next steps of uh, cleaning up the car and doing some detail work thanks again for following me appreciate it